our carrot top pesto. Um, I've got my carrot tops, so I'm just going to, I will throw away that, that bit of stalk there. Um, and these have been washed, so I'm just going to roughly chop them and get them in the food processor. And same with parsley. And you could use any sorts of herbs here. Um, you know, of course, basil's traditional with pesto, so you can put in a bit of basil if you like, or mint, um, or coriander, also known as cilantro. All of those will work really well. Uh, and then I've got a clove of garlic, so I'm just going to get rid of its skin. It can go in. And we want some pine nuts, so I like to be generous with my pine nuts and my pesto. It's up to you. They are very expensive though, so if you're looking for a um, less expensive option, uh, I often use cashews when I, when I don't have pine nuts. So two handfuls of pine nuts, and we're just going to give that a good whisk to chop everything up. Great, so once everything's chopped, then we're going to add our oil. Just I usually do it while the motor's running, just have it, I guess. About half a cup of um, good extra virgin olive oil. And I've got my parmesan here, so a handful or so of grated parmesan. And just give that a stir through with the salt. And then it's up to you, like that's quite a dry, kind of chunky pesto. I'm Add, add a little bit more oil just to loosen it up a bit. So depending on how big your herb bunches are. And it's up to you. Some people like their pesto quite oily. Because um, I'm going to be serving this as a sauce to go with the chicken. I want it fairly, fairly, fairly chunky. Uh, so that's pretty much all we need to do. I'll do and I'll So if you enjoyed this recipe, really encourage you to come on over and visit my blog. It's thestonesoup.com. And if you sign up for email updates, you'll get a free video uh, e-cookbook filled with recipes just like this one. So I really hope to see you soon.